Hi kids, it's Mrs. Frabel. How are you? Um, I am uploading this video so that you guys can get some um, tips on how to insert graphs on a Google Doc so that you don't have to draw graphs by hand because we're going to be graphing a lot of stuff this year and it's so much easier to do it on the Google Doc rather than having to get the graph paper and do it. So hopefully you guys will get your devices soon. If not, and you have a computer at home you can use, you are welcome to do your assignments at home on your computer instead of doing the paper ones in class. I'm fine with that. So here's how that goes. So of course you'll open your assignment on Canvas, okay? Click on the assignment name so that it opens it in your Google Drive. There's your own copy. that You should move that into a folder on your Google Drive called uh, Biology 2020. We'll go through that in class when you guys get your devices. Now, so this was our first graph assignment on how to graph. So what you'll need to do is, of course, you'll answer all of the questions and read all of the things, okay? So the data set you're gonna graph for this one is right here, and it was the year, the average temp temperature in Celsius for the entire Earth for a year and we have the years 1970 through 2015 every five years. The data sets that you'll graph for each assignment of course will be different so I'm just using this as an example. Okay? The first thing you want to do when you're graphing data on Google is come onto your document and click to put your cursor where you want to insert the graph. So I want to insert it right here. Okay. Now I'm going to come up to insert, click that, hover over chart, come down to, this one's gonna be a line graph, right? Because we're graphing something over time. If it's another continuum, another measurement continuum, also a line, remember bar graphs are just for comparing different test groups. So this one's a line graph, so you're gonna click line. Okay. So now you have to let Google think for a minute because it uh, takes it a second to populate that. But it's going to insert like a default graph that it built with whatever random things. So what you'll want to do now is you have to edit this graph with our data. So you're going to click on it so that you see the blue box around the whole graph. And then you're going to come up to the right, left, right corner and you're going to click the little link little chain icon and click open source. That's going to pop open a spreadsheet that is going to be the source for your graph on your document for your assignment. You have to give it a minute to think. I know that's a pain. You guys hate waiting for stuff. Just give it a sec. It's got to, it has to think about what it's doing. Okay, there it is. So there's the graph that it's moved over from where you inserted a graph in your document. Scroll up so that you can see the actual data. Now this is where you start to work, okay? Column A is going to be your x-axis, the one along the bottom. That is your, yeah, independent variable. This is the variable that we change, right? So you need to come up here and you're going to enter the values for each year. So we started with 1970, so put in 1970, hit enter, 1970. 1975, enter, 1980, enter, and 1985. That was a good year. I'm just going to do these four. You'll, of course, do all of them up through 2015. Okay. And then the B and C columns are your dependent variables. These are going to be the data points. And if you watch, those lines moved as I changed the bottom, right, as I changed the year. So we only have one dependent variable in this particular graph. So we're only gonna need one of these columns, so you have to get rid of one. But you can't just delete the data, you have to delete the whole column or Google will continue to try to put it on your graph. So click on C up at the top up here, click on that, then right click on it and come down to delete column, click that, just get rid of the whole thing. It just shifted it, got rid of it. So now you're going to work in column B. That's where you're going to put your um, dependent variable values for each year. So for 1970, I'm going to click on that field, and then I'm going to come back to my worksheet, come up to my data. Okay, 1970, its value, that's temperature in Celsius that year, was 13.93. So I'm going to come back to my graph. I'm going to put in 13.93, hit enter, 1975, that was 13.90, 1980, 
1980 is 14.1, 14.1, enter. Last one that I'm doing with you is 14.03. Wow, there's your new graph. That's a very, very flat graph. You can't read much on that data, right? Okay, so here's where we start to really build your graph. So you need to A, change the title, right? This isn't, we didn't score points in the average temperature of the year. So click on that graph and then double click on it. And again, give Google a minute to think. There it is. So what's going to pop up over here? Let me, uh, let me get out of the way. I'll come over here. There we go. It's going to pop up your chart editor. Okay, this is where you're going to set your details. Remember those? You're going to set your details in here. So uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure it says line chart. Okay, you're going to hit customize and you're going to come down to chart and access titles first. So this chart title is the first uh, first thing you're going to populate. So title text should be average yearly temperature, because that was what our data was, right? Okay, font's fine, size is fine, color, whatever, that's fine. So you're going to hit that, enter, and then you're going to come back up to here and see how it's a drop down menu. Now we're going to do our axes. So you're going to hit uh, horizontal axes title because we always have to label our axes right so those are year with one a there look it populated over here it's building that good and enter and then i'm going to drop this down again and i'm going to do my y axis my vertical axis title and that was degrees celsius okay don't look puts it right in there gosh Dang it, Google's smart. Okay, again, font, if you wanna mess with any of those, but that should be fine. So we've filled in those details. Now we need to fix the flatness of this line. We wanna make sure, you always have to make sure that your interval and your scale on your axes is a, a good representative of being able to visualize your data. So uh, the horizontal axis, that's fine. Every year has its own spot, right? And as you add more years in, it's going to tighten those in. Your y-axis, however, has a little too much spread. It starts at zero and it ends at 15. It's always going to default to zero. You can change that to make your data look better. So and to be, have it actually look more accurate. I shouldn't say look better. It's going to be more accurate if you tighten that up. So come back over to your document or to your data set, and we're gonna look at our lowest and highest values. So the lowest yearly temperature was 13.9, and the highest is 14.8. So I'm going to set my spread on that a little bit more tightly. And to do that, I'm going to come down to vertical axis. Remember, the horizontal axis was fine. We didn't need to change those, but we're changing our vertical axis. So click on that to unfold it. And I'm going to set my minimum value at 13. And I'm going to set my maximum value at 15 because all of our data points fall in between those two values, right? Okay, so that has now adjusted our line so that we can see how the data trends more accurately. And as you go in and add the rest of your year and um, dependent temperature values, it's going to start to uh, build that graph even more. You can see the trend better, okay? So once you put in all your data, you're going to then come back over to your worksheet, go down to the graph that it inserted, and it still looks the same. We gotta fix it. We're gonna pull in the graph that you built from the source. So again, it should, if you click on it, just click anywhere on it, it should pop up this button update since you updated it on another document. Click update, give it a minute to think, and it's going to put in the beautiful graph that you built over here from the source, okay? All right, that's it. If you change anything over here, you need to be sure to come back over here and hit that update, okay? 
and it'll if you've made any changes it will offer the update button okay all right that's it any questions no, just kidding if you have questions please message me on canvas or on remind and um good luck have a great day i will see you soon in class